Hello and welcome back to Leon Talks Film. So first off, if you're a regular subscriber or viewer to the channel, you might notice um, looks a bit different here. Why are some of the shelves empty and what's this over here? <laughs> well, I got a new shelf, so I'm gonna try to be careful with my webcam. But as you can see here, we now have one, two, and three boutique Blu-ray shelves. And this is something that I think it's been a long time coming. I really needed it. I've got to the point now where I was literally running out of room to like place stuff so I'd be placing it on the top of the shelves. I had a couple of piles um, that I just needed to kind of find a new home for and I figured, you know what? Time to get a new shelf. So it's in the midst of being reorganized right now. Like there's just empty spaces there and I've got some uh, slasher classics from 88 films. Um, but I do want to actually like properly organize it so I figured I'd just do a quick video kind of showing where I'm at right now and one thing I will say over the next few weeks or so expect the layout to change a lot I'm gonna be really really picky until I've got it in a way where I'm happy with it so you might so one of the issues also whoa <laughs> this is weird uh, so if you notice here how all of the shelves are just kind of like, I don't know, they're perfect, you know, if that makes sense, like, the films fit perfectly. Now the issue, also this POV is so weird, I'm sorry, but the issue with this here is there's actually quite a bit of um, space here, and then in some cases, it's quite a considerable amount of space. So that's not great, but it's still fine. As you can see, we have a really nice little setup here, um, which in the future is gonna look a lot better, I promise. Right now it looks like a mess, but that's okay because I'm gonna work on it and try and get the camera organized first. I did it. Also, um, I do hope everyone likes my talking head shirt. <laughs> I got this on a trip to Liverpool recently and oh my god, it's so good. I love Stop Making Sense. But yeah, um, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, the Arrow stuff is probably going to be staying here, although part of me is debating moving it right to the back. What What do you guys think? So I'm going to have a bunch of labels here. So Second Sight, Eureka, eight, uh, not 88 Films, um, Radiance, Mubi, 101 Films, Criterion. They're probably going to stick to this left shelf here. So far, all of this minus the top two rows, so that's six of these, like, boxes, like, six of these, so, like, two rows here, they're free, pretty much, so I've got space up there, but I think maybe I move my arrow stuff here, and then I have boutique stuff on this side, boutique stuff on this side, obviously arrow is boutique, but... Considering they're the one that I've collected the most, I figured maybe it'd be cool to kind of have them in the background of every video. What do you guys think? What do you think I should just keep them on the right? Um, because, I don't know, either way they're gonna take up almost a full one of these bad boys and these, uh, these can shelf like over 500 films, so... Yeah, arrow there or arrow behind me. What would be more visually pleasing to look at, let's say? Um... <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for this uh, this new chapter in the Leon Talks film um, obsessive collecting um, addiction. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I obviously I've now got more space for more titles, so that means I'm gonna be spending even more money on Blu-rays. <laughs> but yeah, I mean. I don't know, it's, it's cool, but I've got, like, my BFIs here now, so I could be like, hey, well, I was gonna, I was gonna pull out Solo as, like, a funny excuse, but that's probably not a great idea. I could be like, oh, hey, I'm gonna pick out Cure, and that's, like, a lot easier now, because it's just, like, right here. I've got my own little mini Criterion closet now, you know? But, yeah, I just figured, you know what, I'd update you guys on the shelves, and also give you a bit of an update in general on what's gonna be happening with the channel because I've been back for a while now and I've actually stuck to a um, uploading schedule for once instead of just like dipping so yeah I hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far like I really really do it's been 
so nice being back in the community. I've been on tons of streams. I've made new friends such as Jackson over at Horsetooth Cinema. I've been really cool with Josh over at Through the Lens. I've been on Pete's stream. That's Playtendo guy. Met Nige. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. He, he's such a laugh. And obviously been talking to a bunch of old friends as well that I met years ago when starting off on uh, YouTube and whatnot. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for being cool with me and everything still i get very very nervous but like everybody's gonna hate me you know and i'm gonna like disappear one day and then i'll come back and everyone will have unsubscribed or something you know and hopefully that never happens fingers crossed but i would completely get it if people did unsub because sometimes i'm gone for like a year half a year like un un unbelievable amounts of time and i do feel bad about that so yeah i just wanted to say sorry for like my consistent absences but i hope that the content and stuff i've been uploading recently has been entertaining i mean if you guys haven't seen any of that yet i've done full collections on 101 films second sight um bfi i believe bfi eureka um Mubi, shameless um i think i did a full 4k collection which geez that that took a while that video is almost two hours long so if you haven't seen that yet and you need something to do to keep you busy <laughs> go check that out i did a shout factory one as well um i've done some unboxing blu-ray pickup stuff again i've been on streams i've i've been busy i've been busy and i'm gonna give you guys a bit of an update on what to expect in the future i guess uh, from the channel so more collection videos. We've got others. We've got 88 films to tackle. Um, I finally, I had to take these off the shelf for ages, but I finally got my uh, premium collections back on the shelf. It was that bad. It was that bad, but I didn't have enough space for my premium collection releases. So yeah, I'm glad those guys are back on the shelf, but I'd love to do an updated collection of those. Obviously the Arrow video stuff needs, needs, needs to be tackled. Um, I didn't, I don't know if I just mentioned it, but Criterion as well. I'd love to do a Criterion video. Um, what else? What else? Uh, obviously Radiance as well. Like, I guess I'll just, um, some of these are going to be in a pickup video, but I've got, I got a good deal of Radiance. I think I'm only missing the, uh, the Frank Nero set, but I've got near enough a complete Radiance collection. So I, I guess I could do a video on those, but I'm kind of waiting until... I'm kind of waiting until I've got, like, a few more, because it's still very early in the life cycle of Radiance, like, what, they've been going, like, what, eight, nine months so far, so, it, I don't know, I kind of want to wait a bit longer, maybe, maybe I'll wait to do that around October time, maybe even in the new year, after, like, the one year anniversary, we'll see, and then also Vinegar Syndrome, I've got a big, big Vinegar Syndrome order on the way. I ordered during their uh, subscriber, weeks, uh, subscriber week special, whatever it was called. And my order still hasn't dispatched. I ordered it like three weeks ago and I'm very impatient. So please guys, ship it, ship it. Um, but yeah, I, um, I'll be doing a Vinegar Syndrome pickups video when those arrive. I've got another pickups video planned that you'll probably see in the next couple of days or so. And I've also got a new series I'm going to be starting. And hopefully it will be a consistent weekly or bi-weekly series. And I guess, you know what? Screw it. I'll just tell you guys now because you can you can go and check the video out when, when it um, as I think it'll probably be uploaded... Um, the same day this is out, which is Sunday, and that is going to be uh, Shaw Brothers Sunday. So, I've realized I've got, like, so many Shaw releases. Like, how many does the uh, 88 Asia collection go up to? So, that goes up to 36, and I've seen a handful of these and really enjoyed them. And then I've also got Shaw Scope 1, which has an extra, like, 12 films in. And I'm going to be getting Shaw Scope Volume 2 soon. So that's, like, over 60 Shaw Brothers films. And I was like, you know what? I could do, like, a weekly series where I just tackle a random Shaw Brothers film and see how it goes. Because what I've seen from Shaw Brothers, I absolutely love. And I think it would be, like, a blast to have, like, an ongoing weekly series that... Hey, even if people don't really check it out, I'll have fun checking out the uh, Shaw Brothers titles, you know, because I've got so many to check out, and The Oily Maniac, uh, that's going to be the first one, and <laughs> it's something, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, no, I, I'm excited to start that series, I'll have 
maybe, like I said, the collection videos, uh, my complete collection, they're going to be continuing, so maybe I'll do my Criterions next. I think that might be a safe bet for the next uh, one. And then I might get back to doing a couple of live streams on my channel. We did one um, a few weeks ago. It was a bit of a short one, but we did one that was about an hour with Josh and Jackson. So yeah, I might uh, see if uh, some other people are interested in doing some live streams, because they're always fun. Um, I'd like to do some reviews as well. I've, I've missed doing reviews, and I'm kind of thinking of doing a What I've Watched series, but I don't know, because I used to watch so much, and it used to get, like, overwhelming, because I'd watch, like, 50 films in a month, but I don't watch as much as I used to now. I like I don't just, like, obsessively watch stuff. I kind of just check a film out when I'm in the mood for it, you know? So... Maybe that could be a good idea. I don't know. I've, I've got a lot of ideas swirling around in my head right now, but it's just kind of getting them to fruition, you know? That's the big thing. So, yeah, I, um, that's about it, really. New shelves, uh, new videos coming soon, uh, new shirt. Well, not new shirt. I've had this a while, like <laughs> a couple of weeks, but... I don't know. I I don't know. I'm glad to be back doing YouTube and everything, and I really hope you guys have been enjoying too, because I don't know. Like, like I said earlier, I was half expecting everybody to just be completely gone, so the fact that people have stuck around and are still liking the videos, checking the videos out, hopefully enjoying the videos... That, that, that's what matters most to me, you know? I want you guys to enjoy it, and I want to have fun doing it too. So, I'll test out a few of these new series ideas I've got going on. I'll, I don't know, I'll uh, tackle this whole collection one day, the My Complete Collection series. Whew, that's going to be an undertaking. <laughs> anyway, that about does it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did leave a like, if you didn't leave a dislike, comment below and tell me what you would like to see the most from me. Uh, do you want to see a My Complete Collection video? Do you want to see um, some more unboxings or Blu-ray pickups videos? Do you want to see reviews? Do you want to see some live streams? Uh, do you want to see weird series I've got in mind, like the Shaw Sunday? Like, what are you most excited for? And if you've got any other suggestions on stuff you'd like to see, let me know, because I'll, I'll be checking out all the comments and everything. I always reply to everything, and yeah, I just I lo love interacting with you guys and talking to you all. So yeah. Anyway, stay safe, have a fantastic day, and I will speak to you all later. Bye!